protect. Let's just be honest. What's Gary Gensler's job? To protect us, to make it us feel like we are safe investing in this financial ecosystem that there is no fraud and abuse and misconduct on the governmental side. Well, we know that's not true, but you know Gary Gensler continues to attack crypto and say that this space is full with fraud, abuse, misconduct, with fraudsters, hucksters, Ponzi schemers. We were wondering who's next? Who is Gary Gensler gonna shoot at? It's none other than stoner cats. Stoner cats, get me? They find stoner cats for offering NFT, saying those, those were unregistered securities. Before I get spicy, before my noogle leaves my head and I gotta go find it again, let's jump into what they said. The creator of the popular Stoner Cats animated web series will pay a million dollar civil fine to settle the SEC charges it conducted in an unregistered offering of crypto asset securities by selling non-fungible tokens. They did not admit any did they did not admit any wrongdoing or deny any wrongdoing in settling charges that illegally raised $8.2 million in July of 2021 by selling 10,320 NFTs for about 800 bucks each, and they sold out in 35 minutes. A lawyer for Stoner Cats didn't respond. And we, hear, we see here that there were six episodes released, and it included Jane Fonda, Mila Kunis, Ashton Kutcher, Seth MacFarlane, and Chris Rock. They said Stoner Cats wanted all of the benefits of offering and selling a security to the public, but ignored the legal responsibilities that come with doing so. The SEC put out a tweet, said today, we charge Stoner Cats to LLC with conducting an unregistered offering of crypto asset securities in the form of purported non-fungible tokens that raised approximately $8 million from investors. They put out a whole press release here but their little quote here was, regardless of whether your offering involves beavers, chinchillas, or animal-based NFTs, under the federal securities laws, it's the economic reality of the offering, not the labels you put on it or the underlying objects. That guides the determination of what's an investment contract and therefore a security. They're coming after the stoners and their cats, the stoner cats. Saying that because they sold NFTs, which gained you access to a TV show, that's a security. That confuses me a little bit because are you saying that a Super Bowl ticket is a security? Where I'm paying to go to the Super Bowl and watch the game, and then maybe later if I sell my ticket or maybe sell my access to the game and resell my ticket, that that's a security? Or that I go on Amazon or I go on eBay and sell a Pokemon card to somebody else? Is that a security? Am I, are selling Pokemon cards and trading Pokemon card securities just because you're trading one card to another person and exchanging funds for that? What about all the Lego collectors out there that pay thousands of dollars for a little Lego character and buy from one another? Are those securities? These are the double standards, again, that the SEC seems to not understand. And you know what? I'm wrong about that. They do understand. They just want to continue pushing crypto back, while other countries are saying, let's go tokenize this and tokenize that and instantly enhance their lives using NFTs and using blockchain.